<laughs> no, I'm not crazy. But who doesn't love an automatic opening blade, especially from the best in the country, the best in the world, probably Microtech. Caveat to this whole video, not toys, not for playtime, not for violence, unless it is required to protect life and limb. While I'm gonna show you some stuff that's fun with these, know the laws where you live, don't screw around, no weapon is a toy, and no weapon should be used for unrighteous activities. Microtech, probably the finest maker of auto opening knives in existence. And this one is pretty darn cool. We've got a handful of these today, and I'm gonna torture test a few of them by taking them to, check this out, Swinger, by taking them out into the other room and putting them up against a brand new steel garbage can. Oh, Mick, you're not gonna take those beautiful Microtech blades and shove them through a steel trash can, are you? Unfortunately, I am. I'm going to, not all of them. This is my favorite, by the way. This model is the OD Green Ultra Tech Stonewash Standard Blade. I love that. I just think that's a, a pretty classy looking knife right there. But we are gonna test them. We're gonna run these suckers into a steel trash can, at least one or two of them. Look at that. That's a little cutie. It's a little uh, like two inch blade. This is the UTX 70 standard black. Gentleman's blade right there. Why are we gonna do this? Why are we gonna take these gorgeous top of the line knives and pressure test them? Because if you're gonna carry this thing to save life and limb, to get you out of a, 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 a tough spot, <laughs> we're gonna wanna make sure that they're gonna do what needs doing. What else do these knives have on them that's notable? Well, good solid belt clip, glass break. Very, very cool idea. Not everybody walks around with a glass break, but I tell you what, having a glass break on your body, knowing how to use it, being able to take that sucker out and pop a window could save your life. Just Google trapped in a car in water and you will see footage left and right. There was a, a, a car near us, and we live in the Midwest, that went off the road into a pond, and people could not get them out. Luckily, some, some bystanders acted heroically and were able to get those folks out of the car. Just the other day, some floods in the uh, south, woman in the car got swept away, and her dog was in there, and they were <laughs> an awesome, uh, heroic man was able to get in there and get that dog out, but they were not able to get those uh, windows open, have a glass break. Microtech, made in the USA, one of the things that is very important to me. Now, am I gonna take something that's lesser quality that's not made in the USA? No, I'm gonna go with what's best. And as far as an auto opening knife is concerned, these suckers are top notch. These knives are made to be used for a lot of different purposes. This is something that you could easily cut a steak with if it's all that you had. Nothing wrong with that either. You're gonna make sure you clean it off, right? Uh, great steel, great corrosion resistance. The way that they uh, put these together, I've handed these to people before and they said, there's something wrong with it. Ah, it takes some, take some adult strength to open them. That's on purpose. The uh, folder, if you're going to buy this folder, just food for thought. If you have a weak grip on this, when you open that, You've got, I'm gonna open it slow, you've got that force of that steel coming up and you could very easily open this and have it come out of your hand. Food for thought, these are not toys. That is a pinpoint razor sharp piece of steel that could most definitely hurt you just like any edged weapon could. But if you're gonna purchase one of these, you make sure that you use a very good grip on these, these tools. What else? Something I've been told by people is you could just walk up and stick it in somebody's belly and open it. No, you couldn't, and I'm going to show you why. They've thought about what they're, what they're doing with these, so check it out. Oh, really, Mick? Would it poke a very small hole in you? It would. 
but it's not gonna punch a hole in you. So God forbid you had your hand over it and it opened. I'm gonna show you that again. And this is, I'm showing you this point because that one's gonna probably have about the easiest time poking through flesh. Cardboard, ready? Now that would, that would not be fun, but it went in that deep. That's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna feel great, but I want you to see this right there, maybe 3 16ths of an inch deep. They know what they're doing when they engineered these. The rapid access is there so that you can deploy the tool. You gotta cut a piece of meat. Now, you get that done. But it's not going to open up and I want you to see that before I pull it out. You know what? Cardboard might be a touch tougher than flesh, but not if you've got clothes on or anything like that. So these buttons require enough force that they're not accidentally gonna go off in your pocket. So this in my pocket, the blade is facing down. If I drew this knife, it ends up in my hand like this. So Microtech developed these knives years ago. They've been on the market for a long, long time. There's a bunch of copies of these. If you're gonna buy it, buy a Microtech. We're gonna take the gear and head over to the gym and we've got a brand new made in America steel trash can. I'm gonna glove up because I don't wanna cut myself, but I am. what I'm testing here is not my ability, but the knife and what we're looking for is whether or not these are gonna collapse as they get driven through the steel. We'll see you in a minute. All right guys, well, so we told you we're gonna test these knives and these are, uh, just some decent gloves that I'm gonna put on, just in case. Not that I don't trust the glove, but cutting holes in sheet steel. So, tell you what, I keep the hardware store in business with these old school metal trash cans, and I'm gonna throw some chain into this. Ah, <laughs> that was loud. And just to make sure, we've had people say these are aluminum. This is not aluminum. This is made from Barron's uh, metalware started in 1911 in Minnesota, which is pretty darn cool. And this is sheet steel, galvanized sheet steel. So I've done this before with the kernel blade and I just really wanna know if these blades are going to collapse when we drive them into the steel. This is not like a tactical, hey, this is how you stab somebody. But what I'm gonna do is deploy the knife just like so and I'm gonna drive it through the can. I'm gonna get a good monster grip on it and I'm gonna see if this collapses or penetrates the steel. You ready, Drew? Ready. You guys ready? You ready? Are you ready? Here we go, ready? So that one no problem, she still works good. Let's try, God, I don't wanna scratch these up, but I gotta know you guys, I gotta know. This one will have no problem with that spear point. Same thing, good grip. I'm gonna grab this can a little bit so she doesn't swing too much. And here we go. Ah, those serrations grab a hold. Blade looks perfect. Works perfect. Let's try that butte. You know what? I don't want to scratch this blade up. Am I wrong? What do you think, Drew? Seems like it goes in okay. I've showed you that you're not gonna hurt yourself by having this deployed against skin. Yeah, it might poke a hole in you a little bit. Nothing crazy because of the spring tension. It's gotta be able to get thrown all the way out. What we wanted to explain to you guys is that this knife, we just tested it, it's not gonna collapse if you drive it through something. I don't know about you guys, unless you're the tin man, Human flesh is not that hard. It's not gonna collapse. I think that these are fantastic knives. Did exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm impressed. 
and I think you should be too. Microtech knives, super cool.